Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, dear students, to our science class. My name is Miss Al Anud. These are our rules in the online classroom. Sign in on time, find some quiet place to study and listen. Look at the screen, raise your hand, answer when teacher calls your name, and please do not draw on the screen. Do not talk to your friends, okay? Today is Tuesday, it's 15th of September, 2020. We are studying science, unit one, lesson one. How do scientists investigate questions? After a whole week of this lesson, today we are going to do sum it up. Sum it up to measure how you understood our lesson, okay? Do you have this page, guys? I think it's page 12. Yes. Page 12? Yes. Page Everyone? number 12, yeah. Okay, let's 12. start. Okay, let's start, girls. I want you to write words from the lesson that match the pictures. Look at these pictures. Number one, number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, before we start doing this, just to refresh your memory, remember how do scientists investigate questions? They have methods to follow. Remember, some methods to follow. Anyone? Can you tell me what are these methods? Me, me. Yes, Fatima. My eyes. To observe. My hand. To touch. Be excellent. My nose to smell. My mouth to taste. Okay, good answer. Thank you, Fatima. These are your senses. You use your senses to observe, to use one method. So thank you. You told us about observing. After you observe, do you ask a question? Yeah. Yes, you ask a question. Yeah. After you ask a question, you want to answer this question. Do you make a yeah, hypothesis yeah. about it? Do you make a like right now? I touched the pen. I will say, what is this? What is the name of this one? What is its name? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, do you make a hypothesis about it? If I do this, then this will appear or this will happen. And you think after you make a hypothesis, you think, I want to make an experiment about it, see? You make an experiment. Do you use a real thing or I should make a model? Oh, so I, I should can... make a model. Yes, of course, if it's something very hard to bring, like I want to make a big plane and I want to know how far it will fly if I make the wing so big or too small. So you are going to make a small model look like a plane but it's not real. Do you gather materials? Yes. You need materials for that, excellent. Okay, after you make your experiment, do you take measures, do you measure? Do you need to, t to measure? Yeah, excellent, Dana. Yes, you need to measure, excellent. After you measure, do you record your data? Do you need to record your data? What, do you what mean about data? data? Whatever you have, the numbers, the uh, things that you did, the information you collect. So you need to write down your data, then you need to share the result as an evidence. Is that right? Can you yeah. relate the pictures to what I was saying? Data, it means a lot of things that we have, right? Or not right? Information that you have, information that you got. Now, the first one, number one, look like what? Does it look like a hypothesis? Does it look like experiment? Or it look like a model? What do you think, Dana? Like a model. Oh, 
Excellent, Fatima. I think you are so excited to answer. Thank you for the answer, and I can accept that. But please, next time, raise your hand or wait for the teacher to call your name. Okay? Okay. I think you are so much excited, and I'm so happy about that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dana, back to you, my dear. Look at number two. What is the boy doing on number two? What do you think? Can you unmute yourself? I know I can read your lips, but I don't know. I can't hear your voice. She's oh. unmuting herself. She's unmuting herself. Okay, can you uh, listen to her? Okay. No. Oh. Um, Dana, maybe you need your headphones or you need to come close to the computer. I don't know. This now is my voice good? Yes. Number two? Yes. Is he wrapping some cans? Yeah. Is he using materials? Yes. Excellent. So he's using materials to build his model. Is that right? Do you think? Yeah, group. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go to Lara, Maz, and Ghaif. Okay, Lara. Oh, I can't hear you. I don't think you have a mic in that. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can read your lips. I will try. All right? <laughs> okay. Look at number three. Yes, you said okay. So look at number three. This guy has two leaves between his hands. Look, this is number one and this is number two. What is he doing between these two? Is he measuring or comparing? What do you think? Miss, she can write for you here the answer. Yes, you can write the answer. Is he comparing or measuring? What do you think? Um, you option. You want to you come to know? Texas? You don't know, Lara? I can write this for her. And she tell me and I do it for her. Oh, you don't know how to write. It's okay. Uh, tell me, try to tell me. Is he making a compare? He's looking what are the similar and uh, differences between these two, or he's uh, making um, measures. Is he using something to measure or compare? What do you think? What, the, what the, does compare mean? Compare means it, to uh, see the difference and similarities. Why they are look like no, they don't look like each other. What are the difference between them? He is making a compare. Yeah. So he's comparing. Miss, wait, I think I can make my voice. Excellent, I can hear you just a little, but I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Now let's go to Rima and Maria. Good morning, sunshine. Are you sleepy, my dear? If you are yes. sleepy, I think they are sleepy. Please stand up, stretch your hands, stretch your arms. Now, sit down and answer the question. Number four, the small plane will fly farther. Oh, is this a statement? Rima, Maria, are you there? Yes. This is a is statement. This Yes, it's okay. make statement. Okay, statement. good. Yes, good. What is it about? Are they making a conclusion? Or maybe they are giving a hypothesis or anything? Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Good job. Hypothesis. Good job. Okay. All right. Now, use what you learned from the lesson to fill in the sequence below. Now tell me, observe, after you observe, what do you do? 
the touch. <laughs> touch, it's observing. It's still observing. But after observing, what do you do? Do you ask a question? You will touch it. Yeah, I will ask a question. Then we will touch it and do it. Okay, Lara Justinia. How are you? Are you sleepy? Fine. What do you think is the answer? Number five. What should we do? Well, Lara Justinia, are you there? Yes. I just want to read. Okay. Okay, let's see the answers. First of all, this, these, first, number one is using a model. Number one is using a model. Please write with me. Number one, he made a model. Number oh, two, I, was, I want to write it, wait. Number, uh, let me explain Fatima and I will give you time to write. And if you don't have time to write, don't worry. I am going to send all the answers on the email. Okay? Okay. All the answers will be on your email by the end of this day. Okay, girls? Okay. Now, number two, he's making his model, but can you see at the cans? All, all the cans are the same, just the color is changing. So we can call this picture variable. This is about the variable. He's changing his, pic his color in every step. Can you see? The one factor changes. Yes. Excellent. Now, number three, yes, if he can you compare. can make variable bigger. I can see it like this is so small. Yes, I can make everything bigger. But can you let me explain first, yeah, Fatima? Okay. Now, number three, he's investigating. Yes, he is investigating, making investigation, looking at, observing, and also observing. making a compare. Making Maybe he a compare. predicted something. Then number four, the statement is about to predict. He said the small plane will fly farther. He think of something and he said, I think this will happen. See, he uses the word will. When you use the word will, maybe you are predicting, okay? Now, number five, after observe, after you observe, you think, you make a good guess, infer. Number six, you make your hypothesis. Your hypothesis is, if that happen, then, they will, then this will be, okay? If that I happen, I'm not done. I know, dear, I know you're not done, it's okay. I told you, my dear, your answers will be in your email by the end of the day. But the most important something here is to understand, okay? Do you understand, mm -hmm. Fatima? Yes. And everyone? Mm -hmm. If you don't understand something, please, girls, stop me. Okay, you and can see it again. Me. You can tell us this one, uh, all it again. Again, Fatima? Yes. Okay. I will. First, the first picture describes someone making a model. Number two, it describes someone making a variable. He's making his variable because you see, you have the three cans, they are all the same, only the color is changing in every. Uh, what does it mean, variable? the only one thing you change in your experiment when you are making okay. an experiment and uh, you are using graft or something you change only one thing about it you can change the color the size maybe the smell you only change one thing if you are changing one thing in your all experiment so you are using a variable okay 
Then number three, describing someone is investigating. He's investigating these leaves. He's comparing, asking him, himself about it, and a lot of stuff. Now, number four, the statement tells you that this is a predict. He is predicting the small plane will fly farther. His predict, this one, can be what? True and can be false. He will test it and see. True. Okay. You can try it to make sure or to have your evidence about it. Then observe. After you observe, you infer. Infer is something you say based on your information, something you already know, like the colors. If I mix two colors together, what is the new color will appear? You are going to give me the answer according your information, something you already know. Then making a hypothesis. Whenever you are making a hypothesis, you m make sure that you can test it. Like I will say, if this happen, then this will appear. If I put sugar in the water, then the water will be sweet. This is a hypothesis. Okay, uh, can I test this my hypothesis? Yes, I can try the water and see if it's sweet or not. Okay, then experiment what I already did, that I already tried. I put sugar in the water, then I taste it, and voila, this is my experiment. It is sweet. Okay, guys? Don't yeah. worry, please, about the answers and writing it. I will be sending this through your email, okay? Also, you can go back to the video. You will see the video, my school in my home. You can find the video. And if you want to write from the screen, you can pause, okay? Okay, Fatima? Okay. Good. Let's see what's next. Okay. Over here, Over here, we have words. Can you see the yellow box? Yes. Yeah, I see okay, the good. yellow box. Yes, the yellow box on the left is, uh, uh, you have some words over here. Yeah. You I have vocabularies, some... experiment, yeah, effort. Predict, model, questions, investigation, observe, conclusion, variable, hypothesis. Okay, so I'm going to read, okay, the, this puzzle. Please do not write with me. After we finish, you can copy the answers from the email, okay? To save some time, okay. girls, okay? Oh, good. Now, we will use the word in the box to complete the puzzle. Number one, a cross. Number one, you do this when you make a conclusion after observing. What do you do when you make a conclusion? You want a conclusion. I answer. Do you make, uh, uh, after observing, do you predict, infer, model? Enter. Are you sure? Yeah. Excellent. You infer. See, this is the answer. Enter. Good job. Now I want Lara okay. Justinia. The one factor, one, only what one factor, you can change in experiment. What do we call it? Mm. Variable? Excellent! One factor. Um, guys, I want you to underline just with me. Make underlines, okay? So we used N for... Number what? Number six or nine or eight? 
Now, when you do this, you make conclusion after observation, observing. So conclusion after observing that directs its infer. Then number six, to make a guess based on what you know or think, something you think and you know, huh? Number six. Oh. Does you have to write it? Later, oh, yes. No. Yes, what, you have to write it later. Variable in number what? what variable in number five. Okay. Number six, to make a guess based on what you know or what you think. Hypothesize? Hypothesize? Are you sure? Yes. Let's see. Nope. Mm. What do you think? Is it to make a model, question, conclusion, predict? Predict? Excellent. Make a guess. See, it's a guess. And based on what you know or what you think, it is to predict. Now, number eight, something that is like the real thing, but not exactly. You want to make your experiment and you want something like the real thing. What should you make? Huh, Lara Gaith? Lara Gaith. What do you make, Lara Gaith? You mean the first one? See, if you want to make just like the real thing, you want to make an airplane. Do you make a real airplane? Something that is like the real thing, but not exactly. Is it question, investigation, conclusion, or a model? Something like the real thing. Wasaif, thank you, Lara. Thank you for your try. Make sure you will know the next one. Wasaif, is it only five minutes? Is it making observation or question or conclusion or what? Number nine or eight? Number nine. No, no, no. Number, number eight. eight. Yeah, okay. Mm, I think ex experiment. Experiment. Guys, guys, you want to make experiment about a plane, but you don't have a plane. You will make just like the real thing, the real plane. Model? Excellent. You are making a model. Excellent, excellent. This is the last one. After that, guys, we will complete tomorrow. A statement that will answer a question you want to investigate. Oh, so I'm going to make what? A conclusion or a hypothesis? No. See? Hypothesis. Excellent! Only Fatima is answering with me, guys. Excellent, excellent. Because it will answer a question you want to investigate, a hypothesis. Okay, guys, we have only one minute left and uh, we will complete tomorrow. Thank you, guys. I'll be sending the answers by tomorrow, not today, because we didn't finish. So if you can try, if you want, to try to solve it by yourself, then tomorrow we will see if your answers are correct or wrong. Okay? okay. Do you agree, guys? Yeah, agree. Is it yeah. a good idea? Good idea. Yeah. Good. I will let you try on your own. Tomorrow we will solve it together and we will see your answers, okay? And Tomorrow after we will do uh, or today four and seven and three and two. Yes, you can do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. Our class is finished. We'll see you tomorrow in a new lesson. Or sorry, in a new class. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye.
Bye. Bye, miss. Bye, dear.